as what it is it is your girl cadillac yes i'm cadillac dixon i'm the draw my life prison wife i'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice <laughs> open girl to see justice before all fades to black and before my hair fade to gray girl like for real this your girl cadillac anyways let me jump back into this video so we can get back it and get to the next video um it was a good one i just watched from mr willie d where this girl told this dude he asked her if he gets sentenced to life would she wait girl you talking to somebody that done waited 21 plus years like that that answer that you give back when you 21 and now the answer when I'm about to be 42, girl, girl. But I'll get into that. Let's just finish reviewing this video. Um, it is from Hip Hop Uncensored. Um, I'm going back researching the case of C. Murder because he is um, on a hunger strike. And he is um, also, he claims his innocence, that he is wrongfully convicted. Um, I actually did not know that in the same year as my husband. My husband was wrongfully convicted in 2002. The week before Easter, he actually brought uh, bought our daughter's first Easter dress. Um, and then the week after that, he went to trial and lost that rigged up A-ish. Trial is nothing but a stage play. Trial is not really like... But anyways, let's get back to this video. I'm just saying they're certain that he didn't shoot him. But they always try to pin it on somebody. It's like somebody got injured, killed. We want to put it on somebody. So let's put it on this guy that's a rapper. That was, they that gotta was close the a case. It was like a music the event that was going on. You know what I mean? So we gonna just pin it. I say that all the time. They can't just leave cases open and pinned in. They're gonna find somebody that fits the description and close that case up. They'll rather wrongfully convict somebody than to just close the case and say we can't find a person or you know or just actually work like they supposed to investigate a lot of my husband's wrongful conviction had they just investigated the case actually like for real did some footwork um i don't they would have had to drop the charges on him because they had nothing nothing on my husband no fingerprints no evidence no dna not even the weapon that they claimed that he had but they couldn't find it and i do have a video proving that there couldn't have been a weapon in my husband's case because if it was there's no possible there's zero way you couldn't have found it they just said there was a weapon and a weapon escalates a charge because of the weapon that is non-existent but was said to have been there not even fired nobody shot nobody killed nobody hurt in my husband's case um they still sentenced him to 40 years so that weapon got the oops that weapon got my husband um four times more time um and they never recovered. They don't actually have the weapon. They just said there's one. On him and just to close the books up. That's mm -hmm. fucked up. And I just goes to show you, you know, um, how this, you know, judicial system, you know, needs a, a total uh, destruction and rebuilt again because it's all messed up. He shouldn't be in jail. Do you think it's one? Do you it think definitely it does that need to. And that's the whole purpose of criminal justice reform. It needs to be done over. It is not just... It is not correct. Nothing, nothing that happens in the uh, a case goes the way that you think. See how you biasly, and I know that because I biasly just believed in the system. I just knew that they couldn't do this, this, and that. So you just biasly believe in the system. And it's not until you actually have went through it or went through it with somebody that you realize how, uh, what the heck are they doing? They can't do that. They can't, do girl, they do it all day long. And that's the whole purpose in criminal justice reform, which I don't like to call it criminal justice reform because it's implying and they know how words sound that criminals are getting justice. No, baby, this 
justice system is for all of us. Any of us could be accused of a crime. And you better fight like hell to get up out that crime. Because once you're convicted, once that gavel hits the desk, girl, who wants the gavel hits the desk? Her case closed. The time you get is what you get. And her Lord knows that wasn't the time that your mama had her plan for you. But 1020 life is what the judge recommends you. Now you stare at across the courtroom until your child eyes one day gonna have to explain to him where you been all his life. Go on here and apologize to the mama too. She had to raise that child by herself, her without you. Yeah, it's your girl Cadillac, but for real, like justice reform. Any of us could step and in, be into those shoes, just like at Rajiva. She didn't know what her boyfriend was doing. Her boyfriend was doing some crooked stuff. But then when it all went down, he threw that off on her. She just did 10 years. He, she did eight and a half years off of 10 years or something. She wasn't even, really ain't had nothing to do with it. But they was like, look, we going to sink you, either you finna turn on him or we finna sink you on a ship with him. And that's exactly how this system goes. That's not just. That is not how our system is supposed to play out, but that's how it plays out every day. Every day court going on, baby, I, I almost guarantee you somebody getting railroaded through that court system. I talked about when I would be, um, I reported the first C murder, um, Jeremy mm -hmm. coming out, mm -hmm. Jordan coming out doing it. I, I, I related it to life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember the movie with Eddie Murphy and Martin, how they was out there doing their thing and they got pinned with the murder. It was a funny ass movie, but when you really look at the belly of it, mm -hmm. they were in jail for the rest of their life for no reason. It's, it's, it's not, it's and not that, that, that movie, that Life, that. yes. I When that came, that movie is funny. Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, that movie funny as I don't know what. But my husband, who is wrongfully convicted and excessively sentenced, he he was like, how in the world can they make a movie like this, making fun of this situation? Like, this is no ways funny that I'm in prison for some stuff I ain't even had nothing to do with. And you, it ain't just Marcello Jackson or if C. Murder is wrongfully convicted. It's not just him, man. There's a lot of people, a lot of people wrongfully convicted. And he was like, how dare they make fun and jokes and stuff about this like people live in this every single day and i mean i it's still one of my favorite movies but i can understand his point of view like they getting laughs and stuff but it really does happen all the time and in life you see they were young men and by the time they finally got out, they were old and crusty. Like the best parts of their life, they done took away from them. Justice should not move that freaking darn slowly. Like you can't, how, everything else moves at the speed of light. When bills come, they want them bills paid right then and there. They ain't saying, oh, well, let's drag it on out and do this and do that. No, everything else moves at the speed of light. That rent got to be paid by the speed of light. You got to go to work by the speed of light. Like how everything else moves so quickly. And even trial moves quickly. You go go through trial just like that. Be convicted and everything. But then everything else moves slowly. Can't hardly get a, 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 a appeal. They won't hear that. Even though you got issues that you can stand on that they're supposed to grant you an appeal, they don't have to grant you an appeal. They won't grant you an appeal. Most times, like most times you're not going to get an appeal. Like there's many things that, that they're supposed to, many motions you could bring forward that they're supposed to hear and they don't. They just throw them out. Throw them out. Look like they don't even open the mail. They just throw it out. But the hands of justice move slowly or not at all. Like, for real. So what's happening to a lot of people? Mm. You got a lot of people that's being, you know, um, locked up. You know, this, this really is that simple. We got to close out our mm -hmm. doors. This really happened if you ever been in the I, system. I tell you. Know, you. On you. Just like if something happened, mm -hmm. a lot of burglaries in the area or something. And I say that all the time, but people swear I'm lying. From I'm, like I'm just the biggest liar. There's no way they can't do that. No, they don't. If you're arrested, you had to have done something. No, baby, 
No, no. There's a such thing as wrongful conviction. And they know that ish. They know it. And they know it's hell trying to get out of it. That's why they'll pin it on you. Because they know most likely nine times out of ten, you ain't finna get out of this ish. And you got caught doing burglary. They're going to pin them chips on you whether you did them or not. That's mm. the way the system where Everybody knows that we've been in the system. So what I'm saying you know is mean? you think that they knew this was, do you, do you think that they were out to get you? And that means that if what they're saying is correct, they recanted, he's not the gunman. Uh, that means whoever killed this young man is still out there. He got to live there. They, that whoever, he or she, that actually killed them, if C. Murder did not. They got to actually live their life free while this young man is gone. How could that be closure to the victims? Yes, you're bringing me somebody, but you're not even bringing me the person that actually, you know, needs to pay for my loved one. Like that doesn't like my mother, she basically passed away from the negligence of a doctor. You know, we get injustice everywhere, like for real. And I believe she didn't get the right health care because she was a black woman. Honestly, she went in for outpatient surgery and never freaking her came back. Now, would I want just any random doctor to pay because her life could have been saved if you took the right precautions and the right care? Or do I want the doctor that didn't give a darn about her and sent her off to the emergency room to pass away at age freaking 53 after just walking across the stage with her masters? Do I want that doctor? Like, it's not, it's not closure just putting anybody, pinning anybody to a case. You need to find the actual person that committed the crime. That's the only closure for the family. He murdered. Do you think that they look over? No, no, no. And say, oh shit! This is right. Yeah, let's think, get this dude. Let's get. I mean, it's just like yeah, it's just like it's like any other event. If something happens, and we having a party here, and Chris Brown is here. Mm -hmm. Just calling on Chris Brown. Yeah, I hear you. You know, you know, that's just the way they gotta find somebody to put it on. You know what I mean? Biggest name. They gotta yeah, close the case. Yeah, happens. I'm not the biggest one down. And we know that the system's fucked up. It I is. That's all so fact. So it's just like, you know, but again, I'm surprised any rifle convictions I come out the yeah, yeah, um system. You. I'm so surprised that any rightful convictions happen. I know wrongful convictions happen, but rightful girl, when they actually do do something, do you know they can't never help you? I have a video I'm working on when I actually needed the system to actually come through for me, and that ish failed me every time. <laughs> Like, for real. I was at actually the victim, and the ish did not work for me. And I'm I also in a criminal justice, which I like to call just justice reform group. And there are people that have been victims of circumstances, and they, they say all the time, the system fails you. The system don't even, they're not, so they're acting like they all gung-ho to, let's, let's get this justice for the, for, the, for the family and for the victims. But they're actually not even for the victims. They're just there to get that win. Because it's a lot of victims saying that they don't feel like they received justice from the system at, as well. So um, th that's not adding up to me. Are you really there for justice? Or are you there just to keep feeling like that man, I got to find his name. Hold on. I think it was some like urban politics. I can't look because I'm using the phone where he said the mole heads you put in the bed get you the mo bread or something like that or the mo bread you get for the mo heads you can put in the bed that's what it's about it's about the numbers girl it really ain't about just i'm telling you and if i'm lying i'm flying girl <laughs> Look at still got is. this land you know, keep that. trying to take that, that off still ain't got no power in this country too well, we were talking about it and we're talking about like this wealth and, and generational wealth and passing it through and how if we build and build and build how we would have power. And that part does um, 
confused me as well. Um, because we, I'm a poor black woman. My husband was a poor black man. We ain't got no resources. But it's odd to me that in the case of C. Murder, Corey, Corey Miller, he himself had money. And then he's tied to one of the richest entrepreneurs. Like, for real, like, how are they not able to get justice? All right, guys, I'm about to run out of time again. So let me let this play out. Free, hashtag free Marcello, hashtag free Corey Miller. What was it? No, C Murder. It's no different down there. You know the Millers down there in Louisiana got that pool. If he's innocent, for real. So what I'm saying is, do you even think it was a more cynical route to even tear that up? Because we all see this. I don't know how your comment section is when it came to this story, but I see a lot of people. Shout out to Louisiana. Shout out to Down South. We're supposed to yeah, just, just do all. Just that, you know what I mean? It's yeah. going to connected with that situation. They say Louisiana law is fucked up. Mm. Some of the most just Florida too. In the world. Florida corrupt, it's, corrupt, it's, it's, corrupt. It's bad. Do you, I wanted to ask you, do you see a situation where the Millers kind of even go at the police department and sue? Mm. Hell yeah. I mean, hell yeah. I would. Mm. Anybody, anybody along the line that could be sued, I would see hmm. your fucking ass in this type of situation. Yeah.